Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the fifth episode of our daily Ramadan contest where you listen to a talk for a few minutes, answer a couple questions, and inshallah get the chance to win one of these items. The Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him, said, Inna min khayrikum ahsanakum akhlaqa. The best among you is the best in conduct. A special thanks to today's sponsors, Halab Pastry USA, your authentic Lebanese sweets and pastries, Orchid Dates for Medina Ajwa and Majul Dates, and Mudaffa, your one-stop shop for Islamic essentials. If you'd like to sponsor an episode, please call Delilo at 214-205-2908 or email us at sales at delilo.com. We're also helping with the construction and expansion of 18 Masajid projects across the United States. We ask you to please do your best and donate. This is Sadan Qajariya, especially in this blessed month of Ramadan. To donate, please visit the link delilo.com slash stronger together. And now I'm gonna leave you with our respected guest for today's episode. بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا وحبيبنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا وبعد الحياء الحياء is one of the most important characteristics in defining etiquettes of a Muslim the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم said that إن لكل دين خلقا وإن وخلق الإسلام الحياء that every religion has a certain set of morals or etiquettes or uh, moral code that define it and one of the most important etiquettes of Islam is al haya So what is al haya al haya is defined or translated as shyness, uh, bashfulness, modesty, coyness, or it's defined as it being the opposite of uh, insolence, vulgarness, repulsiveness, inappropriateness, uncivilized behavior, uh, impertinence. And that's why the Sharia, it defines it as a characteristic within the self that prevents a person from engaging in vulgar and inappropriate actions and speech while at the same time maintaining the respect for others that they do not that a person's uh, rights who are deserving of rights are not neglected and this is one of the reasons why the prophet sallallahu said that it's a component of iman iman is made up of 70 some parts one of those parts is al hayat why? Because it's one of the greatest reasons to strengthen and to increase and to have Iman. Because it encourages a person to engage in actions and worship to Allah out of being shy for all the great favors that Allah out has bestowed upon them. So to repay that, in addition to preventing and being shy and embarrassed in front of their Creator to engage in that which Allah out has forbid you to do, then that increases the Iman. And that's why uh, it's all good. The Prophet Sallallahu said that Al-Haya Kulluhu Khair That uh, Haya, everything about it is good. And that, uh, that, the, that Haya never came with anything except good. And when the Prophet Sallallahu contrasted it with its opposite, Fuhsh, vulgarness and repulsiveness and inappropriateness and lewd uh, action and speech, the Prophet Sallallahu said that مَا كَانَ الْفُحْشُ فِي شَيْءٍ إِلَّا شَانَهُ وَمَا كَانَ الْحَيَاءُ فِي شَيْءٍ إِلَّا زَانَهُ The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that uh, fuhsh, this vulgarness and lewdness is never found in anything except that it stains it, except that it disgraces it and ruins it. And haya, shyness and modesty is never found in anything except that it beautifies it and adorns it. And at the same time, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave us a threat for those who do not have the shyness or modesty. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said that إِنَّ مِمَّا أَدْرَكَ النَّاسُ مِنْ كَلَامِ النُّبُوَّةِ الْأُولَى Indeed, that which has reached the people from the wisdom and the speech and the teachings of the prophecy of the past, meaning that every prophet that came from Allah and every messenger, they came with not only one of their essential characteristics of being that they had the shyness and modesty as Ibn Abbas said, but also that they encouraged and that they warned against not having If you do not have shyness, then do whatever you want. Meaning, Like Allah says, that when that barrier of shyness and innocence and that protectiveness and shield is broken, then a person will fall into the depths, the depths are the limit, if you will, 
that a person will fall into whatever type of sin, whatever type of vulgar act, uh, display it, be public about it, have no shyness to wear, that will affect themselves and thus society and then the wrath of Allah and His punishment is deserving for them. And so it's a very staunch warning because this is one of the critical aspects of life that shows that a person has life in their heart or not. That's why Hayatun and Hayaun, shyness and life, the words themselves are similar. Because Man la haya'a lahu, la hayata lahu. Whoever does not have shyness and modesty, then they, they, they don't have life to them. Their soul is missing. Because haya is two, major, it's two types. You have the haya, that's the fitri, this shyness and modesty that is innate. That every person is born with, some with more than others. Uh, but you'll see examples of it in children. Children have this beautiful innocence to them, to where if uh, you know, they're exposed or uh, they'll be very embarrassed and, and bashful, uh, or if they see something inappropriate, it, 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 they, 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 uh, they get grossed out by it. And this is a beautiful quality, and that's why, unfortunately, there are very uh, demonic forces trying to destroy this innocence because of the effect that it has, because it, it destroys the heart. And uh, then there's like the Hayat of the Prophet who was known for being extremely shy and modest, to where even if he saw something from his, some of his companions inappropriate, he didn't like to go directly to them and tell them that. He would have people tell them or he would say, what's wrong with a group of people that do this, that, and the other. The second aspect of Hayat, the second type of Hayat, is that which can be earned. You know, just like uh, muscles can be grown, you have to work at it. And for those who have lost some of that innocence, which unfortunately so many of us have, then this is one of the greatest ways to attain it back. And that is through the closeness of Allah through the constant remembering and being conscious of Allah. And one of the ways that Hayat results uh, from, what well, it's, a, it's a produce of, is when a person reflects about the great favors and all the favors that Allah has bestowed upon them, and then when they think about their shortcoming towards Allah in comparison with those favors. So whether that be that their shortcoming in thanking and worshiping Allah or even worse, when they reflect and think about how these great facilities and favors that Allah has given them from their speech to their intellect to their vision to their hearing, all of these great favors, their strength, and they use that to engage in that which, that which Allah despises and disobedience to Allah and then remembering in addition to that that Allah even Himself is shy like the Prophet said that Allah حَيِّيٌّ حَلِيمٌ سِتِّيرٌ يُحِبُّ الْحَيَاءُ وَالسِّتِرُ that Allah Himself is, has shyness it's one of His characteristics that Allah is the uh, ultimate has the, the utmost and is the, the all forbearing and lenient and gentle towards the slaves and he loves and is always concealing. When a person re remembers that in, in supplement to what I mentioned and that Allah even when the person uses these facilities against Allah and against his and going in disobedience to Allah yet Allah out of his shyness does not like to disgrace his slave, does not like to disclose the mistakes of his slave and so he keeps them private and he keeps them hidden and even forgives them, then that helps produce the shyness and increases the shyness with the slave in relation to their Lord. So we ask Allah to grant us that shyness to accept our Ramadan and quiz time. The quiz time is number one, question number one. Name a companion who was known, one of the most famous for having haya, shyness and modesty. Number two, give an example of the shyness of the Prophet ﷺ, whether that be in front of people other than what I mentioned, or whether that be as his nature, or that be his shyness with Allah Azzawajal. And as a last reminder, that there is an opportunity to help uh, fund some of these projects that are trying to do good for Islam and the links for that will be in the description below. Jazakumullahu khayran wa akhir da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad. Jazakumullahu khayran for listening. Please don't forget to click the link below or visit dalilo.com 
to submit your answers for today's video. We also ask to please donate for the 18 masajid being built. This is Sadaqa Jariya, especially in this blessed month of Ramadan. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our deeds. Jazakumullahu khayran. Wassalamu alaikum.